Hey, what's up guys? John Rettinger here with a recap for you of the keynotes from this year's E3 from Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Microsoft made a big splash by introducing something called Project Natal, and that is full body motion sensing for the console. And the big thing with this was it's all done without a remote, it's using a whole really myriad of sensors that detect your body from head to toe. So if you want to do a driving game, kind of like you're holding a steering wheel. If you're doing a boxing game, you do actually punch. Skateboarding game, you turn yourself sideways. Really, it takes the controller out of motion controlling. And if executed properly, I think it really could push the next generation of consoles and really set the bar quite high. Microsoft also introduced videos, um, videos playing on demand in 1080p with almost instant play, which is actually very cool. You can now download your games on demand, which is actually very neat. No rentals yet, but you can download games from Xbox Live right to your console. They only announced 30 titles at launch, but they expect more to be coming later. I think that would be really fantastic, especially if they can announce some new releases. So the day a game comes out, you hit download, and you got it right there. I think it would be nice in conjunction, too, if perhaps it came with a voucher to pick up the hard copy of the game at GameStop, Best Buy, or another brick-and-mortar retail center. That way you really got two copies of, of the game, a digital and a physical copy. Just my two cents. Microsoft also demoed some, some new games, but the big announcements were Project Natal, the game downloads, and 1080p. So next thing we're going to recap, we will go over Sony's keynote. And Sony introduced a lot of very interesting things. Uh, most of them were actually hardware based. They introduced first a new PSP Go to the surprise of probably no one. It's a thin slider PSP. It's actually, this particular model is completely UMD less, so there's no physical optical drive in the unit at all. You download all your games from the PlayStation Network, and that certainly seems to be a theme, is downloadable games sort of doing away with physical media. The PSP Go does look very nice. It's got Bluetooth, 16 gigabytes of hard drive space, and a ton of other things, but the big news is slider UMD-less. Sony also introduced the new PlayStation Motion Controller, which they clearly showed in prototype form because it looked ridiculous. It was like a black bar with a red circle on top. It looked like a strawberry ice cream cone. But it is true one-to-one -one motion, so as you move you know, your hand over a millimeter or an inch, the cursor on the screen or wherever you're controlling will move exactly that much. Sony's not expecting that to come until 2010, much like Microsoft's not expecting Project NATO to come until 2010. But it is nice to know that all three major game companies are moving towards motion controls. Certainly they won't be used for every game, it's up to developers, but some games will have the ability to uh, control it via motion, which is actually quite nice. So some other Sony announcements, they announced a lot of games, a new exclusive from Rockstar called Agent, um, some updates to PlayStation Home, really just a lot of games that showcased in addition to the new hardware. So Nintendo, Keynotes actually had a lot of very interesting things as well. The Wii Motion Plus, which is an add-on to the Wii Mote, which actually enhances its accelerometer uh, reading abilities from the panel that attaches to the bottom or the top of your television screen for again true one-to-one -one motion. So again, you move it over a little bit, it'll move just the same. Some new Wii Sports games are calling it Wii Resort. Some updates to the Wii Fit, are calling it Wii Fit Plus, with some new games, some improved balance boarding. Really nothing terribly exciting there, but they did show a lot of new games. They showed a couple new Mario games, some side-scrolling, some RPGs. They showed a new Metroid game, sort of like the classic Metroid games, not a first-person shooter, called Other M, which is very cool. But what was missing from E3 were price cuts. We didn't see price cuts on any of these consoles, which really was a bit disappointing. Certainly, component costs have dropped. Nintendo is certainly making a profit on every console, although they are still selling quite a, quite a bit. Could have made a bigger splash, I think, dropping the price, and Sony certainly, the price of a PlayStation still definitely hurts, coming in at $400 US. Um, we also were expecting some announcement of a PlayStation Slim. Sony certainly slims down all their consoles. They did it with the PlayStation 1, did it with the PlayStation 2, and we expect them to at some point do it with the PlayStation 3. 
it was more of a non-announcement, certainly, but there have been leaks showing it box design, and we didn't see any of that. Either the price, another price cut on the Xbox certainly would have been nice as well. But, what are you going to do? It was a very exciting E3 with a lot of really cool announcements, hardware and game-wise. So it really was very nice for, for gamers to know what's coming up for the rest of this year and leading into 2010. Anyway guys, just a recap of E3. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments down below with what you think of the announcements. Are you excited about anything? Are you not excited about anything? Do one of the three companies not announce something that you wanted? Like a new Zelda game, for example, for Nintendo? Very curious to hear what you guys have to say. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.